themselves? Where do they go? Um, do we know where they end up? Teratoma formation. Um, so there's conventional tox toxicology needed plus long-term follow-up. Cost of treatment and the need for health economics modeling and bioethics, of course. So disquiet about embryonic stem cells and the seeming need to, for disruption of, of human embryos. I won't go through this really because uh, I think Angela's shown this earlier. Um, the, um, sorry, Joe showed this earlier. So we average time to market from basic research to market of 10 to 15 years, average cost of a billion dollars, um, large attrition rate. And this is the pharma model that uh, currently Regen Med is, 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 is trying to walk through. The, uh, the Remedy Project in Loughborough also highlights a number of more immediate uh, barriers um, against regenerative medicine at the moment. The inability to source a consistent population of good quality cells, scaling up automation, the need for GMP standards um, in, in, uh, to produce the, the products. And into Cytex, um, got into difficulty last year, are, are unfortunately in difficulty. And this was a quote from the CEO at the time, saying cell, making living cell-based products is never easy. Robust manufacturing process is a key and clinical trial design is not always straightforward. And that was uh, their experience in, in, in many ways their undoing. Okay, so what's going on? Um, this is one success. This is Claudia, Claudia's trachea. So the, the success of um, this, this, um, this surgery uh, donor trachea, uh, decellulized, uh, seeded with chondrocytes. Those cells, those chondrocytes derive from patients' bone marrow cells. So we have this going on in, in, in Padua, this in Milan, this in Bristol, and the surgery performed in, in Barcelona in 2008. But it's a one off. It's a one off. It's been done once. There's plenty of promise there, but it's not, um, it's not a routine procedure. So plenty of promise, but not, uh, not the answer to uh, uh, regenerative medicine and breaking through. So where, where are we now? There are products on the market. Um, I did have another slide in here which was which I must have hidden inadvertently and deleted. But to tell you a bit about um, Dermagraph and Aptograph, which are both on the market and, and both uh, doing doing well. But there are other products, allergenic products. Uh, uh, Osiris have this this product, Osteocell. Uh, it's a bone marrow. Uh, Mesocarma stem cell um, therapy from derived from bone marrow. Uh, good results for uh, age-related macular de degeneration, but these are clinical uh, projects at the moment and, and still uh, are not uh, not products. Renew, and I'll tell you a bit more more about that. Their, their um, approach to stroke. So lots of promise again. Um, lots of products in development. Thirteen hundred products in development globally. And these, if we look at stem cells, there are, there are a number of different strategies that are being uh, deployed for stem cells as cell therapies, and against going, going against those particular um, disease indications and more, cartilage, neural, beta islet. Stem cells or progenitors um, induced to home or to mobilize by, by small molecules, and using stem cells to derive small molecules which will drive things along the differenti differentiation or uh, development pathway. Stem cells do present um, great future opportunities, particularly if we look at the uh, induced uh, multipotent uh, stem cells. Plenty of opportunities, they're described by some author, one author here is, is, is Nature's Gift to Mankind. A common source for uh, immune modulation to allow cell therapy uh, to be continued in the, in the absence, or to so therapy in the absence of continued uh, immunosuppression. And the possible um, consequence of that eliminating the need for patient-specific stem cell uh, work in the, in the context of uh, autoimmunity. And here's some, some of the work that's going on right now. I mentioned Osiris earlier. This is another product, Prochymal. Um, they're looking at, uh, again, mesenchymal stem cells for um, gro uh, gra growth graft versus host disease. 
and Crohn's disease, COPD. Uh, a lot of work in type 1 diabetes, again, prochymal is being deployed there. Neogenesis um, in vivo by uh, Nova Nordisk. Um, embryonic stem cell derived pancreatic endoderm implants by a company called Novacell. Uh, just, just note this is a, a, a project or product in development, but they're not expecting to see that until 2017. So a fair way, fair, fair well, fair, a fair way before the market. Osteoarthritis, um, adult uh, mesenchymal progenitor cells by, by mesoblast. There are some close, closer to practice. Um, Geron's molecule for uh, spinal cord repair, uh, for paraplegic stroke, uh, REN, 001 re neurons product, uh, cardio muscle progenitors, beta islets cells, um, both uh, donor cells and uh, stem cells for, for diabetes, neural stem cells for lysosomal storage diseases, uh, new molecules, new candidate molecules for preventing cancers, targeting of met metastatic uh, cancer st stem cells. Um, that are currently resistant or appear to be resistant to uh, anti-cancer drugs. So if they could be targeted by <coughs> small, other small molecule means, then the anti-cancer therapy is a lot more likely to be successful. And just uh, one slide on REN001, the Renewon product. So this is a uh, conditionally immortal um, clonal neural stem cell line. Um, they've managed to convert that now to full GMP manufacture. Um, and this is a master cell bank, a working cell bank, and a drug substance qualification. So a lot of work here to, to, you know, to get it to um, clinical standard. 